what's up? It's me, Jessica J. And I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, uh, Jessica, what should I never do around a girl I like? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked because word for word, that's exactly what I'm gonna give you today. And to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to hear all these things you should never do in front of a woman you want or another one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. Okay, so before I go into the three things you should absolutely never motherfucking do with women you like, I don't know if you saw the announcement, but I am challenging myself <laughs> to do a live stream every day for 90 fucking days in an effort to challenge myself to do something outside of my comfort zone and really push myself in ways that my clients do for 90 days in working with me where I have to sit and watch y'all interact with girls and tell you what you're doing wrong and then you hear feedback from the girls and then we help tweak you along the way to get better and better and creating those connections and chemistry faster and faster. So I thought why don't I, what is it, put your foot to the fire or something? shit like that. Why don't I do something that is like that in regards to really making myself suffer for y'all. So starting next Monday, I think it's the 8th, the 7th, I'm going to go on a live stream every day. I don't know what I'm going to fucking do yet, but yeah, you want to see even more of me and hear me explain things in either even further detail live um, behind the scenes shit. We can eat together too. I might be eating while I live stream, but whatever. Tune in next week. Subscribe right now. Put a notification on whatever it is. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it every day at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It won't be more than like 10, 15 minutes, but I'm just trying to give you guys even more that you can use for yourself in this entire dating dynamic. So yeah, that starts next Monday. Hee <laughs> Okay, let's get right to it. The first one, first thing you should never do in front of a woman you like is lie. And I'm not just being a salty ass chick like, oh my God, all men lie. Uh -huh. Basically, when you're lying or being incongruent with what's actually going on for you, you're conjuring up some ugh in yourself. What do I always say about emotions and energy, they're contagious. If at any point you feel like you're being dishonest or disgenuine, ingenuine, or inauthentic in any way, you will set off a little uh, thus inciting a little uh, in women. I just got off a call with two guys who told me that the reason they didn't like working with other male dating coaches is because they learned from these other male dating coaches what worked for them. And it didn't feel incongruent with who they were as people. So they're trying to do things that they wouldn't normally do or they wouldn't normally say and it didn't feel right. And in that not feeling right, they just, they weren't getting the results they wanted. They weren't getting the interactions and the women they wanted. That's a form of lying as well. When you're just not telling the truth on who you really are. Also, don't be lying because I'm a salty ass chick and men lie. Uh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> which then brings me to, basically is the same thing, brings me to the second one, which is don't try to be something you're not. There's so much out there that says fake it till you make it. But what it doesn't take into account is if you're not okay with the faking, it's not gonna feel good for you. And again, if it doesn't feel good for you, it's not gonna feel good for us girls. What they really mean when they say fake it till you make it, they're trying to say feel confident feel good about yourself until you get the result you want. Because in that feeling good and in the knowing you're okay and knowing you got it, you're gonna then translate that same exact feeling from women back to you. So if like you had to fake being like a man that was loved by women, revered by women, and in your interactions, you're like, okay, women love me. Women fucking love me. Yeah, they love me. And then you went out and you had that attitude, that's the kind of energy you want to put out there. But if you're sitting there like, okay, I guess i fake being hot. And you like try to wear all this shit that you think a hot guy would wear, but you don't feel good in it. That's when you're going to translate and incite that not feeling good about you. Do you see the difference? So yeah, don't try to be something you're not. Don't try to look like someone or act like someone you're just not because it will come off as a lie. It will come off as something doesn't feel right because it's not going to feel right for you. And number three, don't retreat into your head. I talked about this in the last video in regards to the chemical equation for creating attraction in less than one minute. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it right fucking now because it was my exact step-by-step -step formula for creating the fastest connection and chemistry between you and any woman you talk to. Anyway, I digress. In that video, I talked about not leaving the beaker and how everything you need to keep that interaction going and keep that connection flowing and keep that chemistry growing is right there in that interaction with you. So the second you go into your head like, oh, what should I say next? What you're doing is you're leaving her hanging there to be like, uh, where'd he go? When you do that in the moment, it's just like you turning your back 
on women. We'll literally be like, what the fuck did he just do that for? Where did he go? I guess he doesn't want to talk to me. I guess he's bored. I guess I'm boring. I guess I should leave. I feel weird. Bye. I always say, if you're going to retreat into your head, be productive. So go in there. See how you can relate to the last thing she said. See what personal experience you think of in conjunction to the last thing she said. Stay in the beaker. And if this is stuff that you know you struggle with and you want to get women just by being yourself, which they don't teach us how to fucking do. That's exactly what I teach my clients. Don't change who you are, change how you are. Anybody who applies right now and qualifies for the next step forward to work with me and my girls, you're going to hear from me personally. You and I are going to jump on a Zoom call personally. I'm really going to look at what you've got going on right now, right here, and what it's going to take to get you where you want to be with whom you want to be with. So apply right now if you haven't yet at jessicajdating.com slash apply. I'm only doing this until Labor Day. And uh, stop doing this shit in front of girls you like. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.